All right, welcome to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel, everybody. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about how you recolor your Elite Dangerous interface from the very kind of glaring orange to basically whatever you want. To your heart's content and all of that. Unfortunately, you can't just do it easily through the interface. We're going to need to do a couple things to change it to a nice blue color. So the first thing you're going to need to do is tab over. And I've got this website here that has been created specifically for this purpose by another guy. And what this allows you to do is you can click and drag these sliders around down here in order to color the interface sample however you like. Once you have the color combination that you like, we're going to have to go to our app data folder in order to access the appropriate file. So let's go down here and type in percentage app data percent, hit enter. That should bring up a folder. You want to go just to the app data folder itself, go to local. You want to go to, let's see, Frontier Developments, the one with a space, not an underscore, the first one. Then we'll go to Elite Dangerous, we'll go to Options, Graphics, and then what we're looking for is Graphics Configuration Override. Make a copy of this folder, or not this folder, but this file, so you don't overwrite anything important, or if you want to revert it, you can. And then go ahead and edit it either in a text box or in, say, Notepad++. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our color changes from over here on this website. And what we need is down here in this corner. So down here is a little sample. I'm just going to copy and paste this little bit of code here into this file that we just opened. And what this is going to do is this is going to control the colors that we pick. Next thing we need to do is you need to pick whatever colors that you want. And once they're done, the code that corresponds to those colors in an RGB format in three parts will be created right here. We're going to copy that, go back over here to your text editor or Notepad++, and replace all of these matrix red, green, and blue with that thing that you just copy and pasted. And then if you want to, you can hit tab a couple of times to make it all aligned properly in case that's important to you. And then provided Elite Dangerous is already closed before you make the final changes, you can hit Control S in order to save that. And then this will be your new <coughs> color configuration so that you can run around the galaxy looking as fantastic as you deem necessary or as you want, really. The only thing I'd recommend is be careful with blues. I'm still tweaking mine because the mass locked cargo scoop and landing gear indicators are all blue as well. So it can make it kind of difficult to tell what exactly is going on in your game. And that's really all you need. You just got to have access to your app data folder, the ability to edit that file using Notepad or Notepad++ and this website that allow you to preview your changes and then copy and paste this code to make it work. And in case you're curious, this is updated for Elite Dangerous Horizons, the most recent stuff. And if it ever changes, I'll put out another tutorial covering all of that fun stuff. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a quick tutorial on how to recolor your Elite Dangerous interface. I hope you have found it helpful. If you need any help or you have any comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll catch you next time. And I'll have the link to this particular website in the video description. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.